All right. Uh, our first question, it says, for each pulley system in the sketch below, what is the mechanical advantage? What is the velocity ratio? What is the efficiency? Mem A, it means mechanical advantage. Then VR, it means velocity ratio. Then the efficient. So I'm going to start by explaining uh, how do we get the velocity ratio. The velocity ratio is very, very simple. When you want to get the velocity ratio, just count the number of pulleys. Just count the number of pulleys. For example, in the first uh, pulley system, we have one pulley here. We have two. So the velocity ratio for this one is a two. All right, for the second one, we have one pulley, two, then three. We got three, which means the velocity ratio for this one is three. Then the velocity ratio for the third one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the velocity ratio is uh, six. That is the velocity ratio. Right? Then we move on uh, talking about what you call the mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage, uh, let me give you the formula. Uh, MA is equal to load over... Effort, load over effort, load over effort. That's how we get the mechanical advantage. All right, uh, so the mechanical advantage for the first pulley system uh, is that uh, our load, our load is 100, then our effort is 70. So the mechanical advantage for this one, it's 100 over 70. 100 over 70. So, for example, like this one, mechanical advantage for the first pulley system, we go to 100 over 70, then 0 and 0 here, then 7, this one, 1.3 1, uh, something, uh, 0.4, like that one. So, our answer is 1. So you must round your answer to the nearest whole number. So the mechanical version for the first pulley system uh, is one. Right? Uh, then the mechanical advantage for the second policy, which is B, um, our load is 100, then our effort is this one. So just to say 100, because mechanical advantage is load over effort. So it's 100 over 50. Then you get what? Two, which means two is our mechanical advantage for part B of the pulley system. Right? Uh, then part C of the pulley system, again, the formula is the same load over effort for so that we can get the mechanical advantage. So our load is 100 and our effort is 30. Right? So say 100 over 30. Then you got um, 3.33333. It becomes a recon. Let me show you the working. Show you the working MA for the last one. It's uh, 100 over 30. Then 0, 0, 10 into 3 into 10. We get 3.1 into 10, 3, get 3, get 3. It's become a recurring. So our answer is 3. Because we must leave our answer to the nearest wall number. That is the mechanical advantage. Then the last part, which says the efficiency of a machine, the efficiency of a machine. The efficiency of a machine uh, is very simple. The efficiency of a machine is very, 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 very simple. Let me show you the formula for calculating the efficiency of a machine efficiency of a machine the efficiency of a machine is like this efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over vr times 100 right times 100 that is the formula for calculating the efficiency of a machine all right um let us calculate the first one the first one the Mechanical advantage for the first machine was what? Was 1 and the velocity ratio was 2. 
so we say coefficient efficiency of the first pulley system is equal to uh, mechanical advantage which was one over velocity ratio two times one hundred two into hundred we got fifty then one times fifty we got fifty so fifty percent is the efficiency is the efficiency of the first pulley system then the efficiency for the second pulley system uh, is the velocity ratio is three and the mechanical advantage is two so it could be like this one uh, mechanical advantage is two over velocity ratio three times one hundred then three no that two times this one we get two hundred over three then three into twenty got six remainder two Three into this one got six again. Point two and six, six, six. So it becomes sixty-seven. Uh, correct to the nearest whole number. So the efficiency for the second pulley system becomes sixty-seven percent. Then the efficiency for the last pulley system, the mechanical advantage was three, and the velocity ratio was six. So we say. Uh, mechanical advantage which is 3 over 6 times 100 all right 3 into 3 1 then 3 into this one go 2 then it's 1 over 2 times 100 then 2 into 100 we got 50 so the efficiency for the last pulley system was 50 percent that is the answer all right uh, for these questions we are we are done let us look at the other question, which come and say, why the efficiency of a machine is not 100% or will never be 100%. The efficiency of a machine uh, will never be 100%. The first reason is that, one, due to friction. friction um, though the first reason why the efficiency of a machine will never be hundred percent efficient number two is the weight of a machine the weight of a machine is another reason why the efficient of a machine will never be hundred percent in case you want to know what is the the term efficient means the term efficient it means is the measure or is the measure of how well the machine works the measure of how well a machine works is called the efficiency of a machine i think you are 